any preferences, the shows you want to know it more about, and also you maybe actors who have done comedy yeah. stuff. And then once you've got this band, you can go through the whole place and you can basically craft your comedic experience. Now, this band here, what you do with the continuum is you tap down here and it will bring up your comedy selection. So Wanda Sykes here has a connection with Roseanne Barr. You probably can't quite see it, but if you tip, tap the lock, then it'll show you some details about how they are connected. So it's this cool little thing where you just keep tapping and then you can go Wanda Sykes, what's her connection with Chris Rock, here we go, tap it, they were on Broadway together and then you get to watch cool videos that show you how your favourite comics, comic actors are connected and then once you want to get out of that, you touch the video to close. I've got to say this is so much fun because you just like tap and play and get to see all of your favourite comics doing things in your favourite shows. So really cool part of the Comedy Centre, the National Comedy Centre here, is their continuum. And I'm going to send it back to Emily because we're going to talk to the woman who is behind all of this amazingness, Executive Director Journey Gunderson. That's right, I'm here with Journey right now. Mel, gosh, that looks so fun. I can't wait to interact with everything here at the uh, National Comedy Center. So much technology, so many artifacts. We're gonna get to that in a bit too. But Journey, thank you, sir, being, thank you so much for being on Air in Buffalo this morning. Well, thanks for coming to Jamestown and being here at what was recently named the best new museum in the country. We really appreciate it. So tell us about summer fun weeks. Well, it's time to start laughing again. And so this spring we were trying to figure out what we could plan as things were evolving. And so we decided to lean into some of the most fun stories within the whole story of comedy. So now for the next few weeks and for this seven week event series, visitors to the National Comedy Center don't just experience the story of the entire art form and history of comedy uh, in this museum just recently named to Time Magazine's world's greatest places list. Now we do some extra storytelling on genres within, like workplace comedy. Mm -hmm. So you think of everything from The Office to Taxi to Cheers to 30, uh, 30 Rock and Parks and Rec. That culminates with a Riverside Saturday each yes, week where yes. we show an iconic comedy film on an outdoor screen and we also do live entertainment all for free on our riverfront. So we open the museum later on Saturdays till 7 so you can really make a staycation out of it oh, or just yeah. spend the day and have so much fun. There's so much to do here and people always wonder, is this good for all ages? Because I know you invited Mel and me and my family to test it out to show people really how fun all of this is, but really it is fun for all ages. Can you kind of tell people about that? Yeah, most people's reaction when they leave is, wow, I didn't expect to laugh for four hours straight in a museum. Mm -hmm. You know, people don't always think about that when they're coming to a museum experience. And I have kids who are six, three, and one. They would play here all day if I let them. <laughs> um, but we're going, you know, back to the origins of comedy. So we, tr it's, it sounds cliche, but there truly is something here for everyone. Yes. People of all ages have fun here, whether you're into the interactivity and the fun and the technology, yeah. or even the participatory wing where you're trying your hand at comedy, or whether you want to have a more passive experience um, or stand in the presence of the artifacts, so you're standing in the presence of the DNA of some of the greatest of all time. Charlie Chaplin's cane, uh, dresses from the Carol Burnett show, Lucy's polka dot address, even the iconic puffy shirt from Seinfeld is here. Yeah, that's a big deal. That is a huge deal. There's even the Emmy in that case with the puffy shirt, which is so cool. And look at me, I'm dressed in my Ghostbusters t-shirt. Oh, nice. This is for our director, Aaron Ferguson, who is a huge fan of Ghostbusters. And of course, Spengler's uniform is in one of those cases. This is spectacular. Well, thank you so much, Journey, for being on AM Buffalo this morning and telling people what they can expect when they come out here. And what a great weekend to come down, Independence Day holiday weekend. Make sure you come in and hang out at the National Comedy Center. Check out what Journey was talking about, because all of that is great stuff. But you know what? She was talking about the artifacts. We're going to take you there. Mel is going to explain exactly what you can see, and you are not going to believe it. Some great stuff here. This is Am Buffalo. We'll be right back. <laughs>